Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Get Lit with Mrs. Schmatzer. Today I really decided I needed to bring the heat in this book talk. Some of my book talks I thought were a little lacking. So I hope you enjoy The Light and Hidden Places by Sharon Cameron. This book takes place during World War II, and it is about a young girl who, honestly, she doesn't even know her age. She thinks she's about 16 or 17, kind of at the height of World War II. Her name is Stefania. Stefania and her younger sister, Helena, who is only six years old, helped save 13 Jews during World War II by hiding them in their attic, under the bed. Really, they lived in a very small house, and anywhere they could stash people, they would. The back of this book, what I love is it has an author's note because this author actually met the real life Stefania. And so I wanted to read to you a little bit about what she says. And if you read the book, I would wait till the till you finish it to go back and look at the author's note, just because it will tell you how some things turn out. And when I read a book, I don't really like to know the ending just yet. So um, I'll leave that up to you. But that's just kind of what I would do. But this is what the author wrote about Stefania. The legacy of World War II has dark tentacles that keep stretching forward deep into present day. For many whom I've talked to, it is an ongoing war. The scars are not healed, and the repercussions still ripple. Loss of family, loss of friends, loss of histories and futures, fear that cannot be forgotten. But for all that have suffered, never in any written word or a single interview did Stefania ever say she regretted doing what she did, only that she would do it again. One death or 13 Jews, she said. It was a good trade, even though the death she referred to was her own. That is my definition of a heroine. So guys, I know so many of you enjoyed the project with Miss Prickett where you did the butterflies in memory of the Holocaust victims. And some of you had even asked like, what would be some books I could read um, to learn more? Because I do think it is something that is really important that we remember. And so The Light and Hidden Places is definitely one I would recommend, honestly, for you, for your parents. It may even be something that you want to read together as a family. I think that would be nice. Um, don't let this book intimidate you by its length, though. It is a very um, quick read just because there's so much that happens. Um, I thought it would take me a couple of weeks to read it, and I read this in about a week. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I may have another book talk for you this week uh, because I've been able to get a lot of reading done, so stay tuned for my next post. Have a great summer.